What is going on guys? Today we are here at a new lake, or well, creek I would say, uh, Tolls Creek. It's the first time we've launched here and we got the kayaks already up. I know what everybody's going to say. Yes, I am selling my kayak. Um, can't tell you why right now, but hopefully in a couple weeks we will. But today possibly is the last time I will fish in my kayak, uh, well, in this kayak. Um, yeah, I mean, let's have fun. Hopefully we catch a lot of fish, that way it can go out and onto the new owner in style. But yes, I will be, f I will be selling it um, no later than this weekend. Um, I already got somebody that talked to me about it and said if I hadn't sold it by this weekend, he would buy it. So, other than that, we got Chase out here with us. How you doing? And we're gonna try and catch some fish. This is new to us, so it might take a while to find some fish, but hopefully we find the fish. So we're gonna get all these, uh, get both of these kayaks in the water and get to fishing. I just want to catch a fish. I've never fished here before. So. so crankbaits. Where do you want to throw crankbaits at? Oh, oh, get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was a freaking pick roll. I just wish I knew how deep it was. That's all I want. Like. Oh, oh, got one. <laughs> well, we've got the first fish of the day. Let me back up here. He's a little guy. About as long as that lizard is almost but <laughs> first fish of the day I literally said I would be fine with an eight incher didn't I yep. well there's my eight incher <laughs> yeah just let it sink and then just start slowly dragging it like I wasn't even touching it really Got another one. Well, <laughs> I got another fish. He's uh, actually probably smaller than the other one. He's pushing eight. Well, we need to find a little bit bigger fish. Hopefully we can. At least, at least in the one pound range, not the ounces. Oh, nice. Chase is hooked up with one. Ooh, God, get in the boat. All right. Bud. 12 inch fish. Yeah. Was that biggest today? Uh, probably. Nice little dark color. All right. Jesus. 
Got one. Oh, a nicer one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a little bit nicer one now. <laughs> About a pound, I would say a little over a pound. Chase, I think I got you beat, bud. Twelve and a half. Okay. <laughs> and he bit it twice. Bit it? Yeah. Is that the one you missed? Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't the one I missed. I missed two. Well, I missed him and another one. The other one was about the same size, I think. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> got another decent sized one. Oh, he got off! Damn it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. That's a good one. Whatever it is. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, we got a good bass right here, boys. We got a good bass right here. <laughs> Oh, I love this place. Oh, man. He choked it. Just straight choked that lizard. Look at that thing. That is all the way down in his freaking gullet. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Oh, yeah, that's a good three pounder right there. Look at that. <laughs> Good three pound bass. I can't believe I missed. I had a fish come up and blow up on that damn lizard tail and eat the damn thing. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> He's moving. I'm something running into you. Um, dude, tone down. Barely hooked at the nose. Ugh. Well, that's fish number six, I think. I came here not thinking I was gonna catch anything and hoping I would catch something. And now we're just can't stop catching fish because we found where they are. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I think that's a pretty successful day right there. And we've only, and we've only been out here what? 
Uh, we've been out here for an hour and a half. So, let's see if we can keep grinding. <laughs> Do what? Oh, jeez. Oh, he hit it on the top of the water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, he did a fish, dude, right there. Yeah, dude, like as soon as it hit the water, he, he freaking smoked it. <laughs> you want a lizard? Fish number seven? On the lizard. On the eight inch lizard. Hit it as soon as it hit the water, he came up and smoked it. And let's let him go. I think I'm gonna give Chase a lizard. They seem to be loving this thing. <laughs> Do you have any like quarter ounce weight? Uh, full weight? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Can we double up here? That's the real question. Push off this tree. Dude, he swallowed that. Increase in size, nice little dark colored bass. You can see he's completely choked it. All right, let's get away from the trees. But all this. Nice little kid. All right. It's a good sized bass. 14 and a half, 14 and a quarter? 14 even. 14. Well, that's your big fish of the day. 14 even. Get on out of here. Hey, watch out behind you. I don't know what that is. Watch out behind you. Smack him, smack him. It's not poisonous though, because you can tell because his head is round. Yo, that dude was. Yo, that thing is long. Yeah. The fact that you can see that from way the fuck over there. Yo, I saw something. I thought it was a beaver at first, or like a new, uh, a nutra. Yeah. I was like, God damn, dude. I was like, something's booking it across there. Got one on the jig. Yeah, on the six inch jig. Well, this is my first fish on the uh, six inch jig here. I just kind of flipped it under a dock. He hammered it. 
little guy, but I mean, little green and blue jig with a June bug trailer. That's my first first fish on the uh, six cents. So, let's see if we can't catch some more. All right, folks. Well, we are heading back to the boat ramp. We're gonna hit a couple of these spots that we were catching fish in earlier, see if they kind of reloaded and whatnot. But we've been throwing. Let's see if I can get it here. We've just been throwing this eight-inch lizard on about a quarter-ounce weight, pegged with an offset worm hook. Uh, just been throwing it into these uh, trees and cypress knees and stuff like that. And it seemed to be working up until about 12 o'clock, and it just seems like the bite turned off. Uh, I lost a huge fish. I don't know if it was a bass or a catfish, but uh, it, it was pushing some size on it. But we're going to get down here. We're going to fish this spot for, uh, I'd say, probably 20, 30 minutes and then head back to the boat ramp and get everything loaded up. So let's head on back. That one. <laughs> well, we came back to the trusty old spot and caught a dink. <laughs> all right, dude. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's uh, fish number 10 for me. Where are you at, Chase? Folks, that's number 11, right there. You got a little bit of a bloody tail. I also might need to go back to Bass Pro and buy some more lizards. I've got two left. So hopefully these uh, last me the paddle back, which I think they should. But I still need to get more. All right, guys, we are back home now. Uh, today was a good day. I caught uh, 10 or 11 bass. I lost a huge one. I don't know if it was a catfish or not, but... It made the biggest boil splash right at the bow of my kayak. But Chase caught some, um, and it was just a good day overall. A new, a new body of water uh, that, that I've never fished, so I kind of was had different ideas going on in my mind. Uh, we, we ended up fishing a uh, uh, shady side of the creek that had a lot of cypress knees. And so we were just casting as far as close to or in between all these cypress knees as we could and we ended up getting fish so it was a good day like i said at the beginning of the video though today was my last day in the hobie um i'm cleaning it up tomorrow and if i don't sell it by friday saturday it will be off the market uh, i don't really want to give away what I'm doing. Uh, most of you probably already know because you keep asking me. My phone was blowing up for three hours last night on why I'm selling my kayak. But I'm not going to give it away just yet. Uh, I am getting another kayak though. Uh, just not at the moment. So 
But uh, I think next week we might try and just go do some bank fishing uh, just to bring content to y'all. I'm going to make some more uh, crankbait painting videos as well. So I'll, I'll still have content coming, fishing related content and fishing uh, in general. But for right now, the Hobie is being sold by this weekend. Uh, I know... It's sad, but that's what's happening. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. Please share this video. I don't ask very often uh, to share videos, but this is my first time at this new spot, and it was my last time in the Hobie. I know I just bought it six months ago, but please subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified when I put out more videos. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.